In today's lecture, we will talk about Lawrence Stern. Lawrence Stern was an Irish or British writer. He was born in 1713 and he died in London in 1768 in England. Here are some famous uh, contemporaries of Stern. That is Voltaire, uh, George Washington, Frederick II of Prussia and Adam Smith. We talk about some most important works of Stern that are Tristram Shandy, Gentleman, and the other one is A Sentimental Tra Journey Through France and Italy. Here are some other works of Stern The Case of Eliza and the Widow of Zerifat, which appeared in 1747, The Abuses of Conscience, 1750. A Political Romance 1759 A Political Romance later called The History of a Good Bomb Watch Coat It was a Swiftian satire The next one is The Sermons of Mr. Yorick 1760 Now let's discuss about the most important works of Stern The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy Gentleman is the full title of Tristram Shandy it was published in nine volumes. First, one or two volume appeared in 1759. Third and sixth volume appeared in 1761. Seven and eight volume appeared in 1765. And the last volume, nine, appeared in 1767. Arthur Soko Fair called Tristram Shandy one of the four immortal romances. Here are major characters that, uh, that are Uncle Toby, the Servant Tree, Parson Yorick, and Dr. Slope. Tristan Shamdi has earned its reputation as one of the greatest comic novels in English literature. Here is an important quote. All I wish is that it may be a lesson to the world to let people tell their stories in their own way, said by Tristram near the end of the book. Let's discuss about uh, another work, A Sentimental Journey Through France and Italy. It was a comic novel by Stern, published in two volumes in 1768 as Stern was facing death. It was a combination of autobiography, fiction and travel writing. The novel can be seen as an epilogue to the possibly unfinished work, The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy Gentleman, and also an answer to Tobias Smollett's decidedly unsentimental travels through France and Italy. Stern had met Smollett during his travels in Europe. He modeled the character of smell fungus on him. Because Stern died before he could finish the novel, his long-time friend, John Hall Stevenson, uh, who identified with Eugenius in the novel, wrote a con uh, continuation of this novel. It is titled, Yorick's Sentimental Journey Continued, to which is prefixed some account of the life and writings of Mr. Stern. Here is 